What's going on guys, welcome to a new video. So in this one, I wanna show you a dropshipping store that has progressed into becoming a quote unquote real brand. The reason why I wanna show you this store is because it's, in my opinion, what everybody should be aiming for. Don't get me wrong, dropshipping is a great business model. It's low barrier to entry, but it does have its drawbacks. It does have its negative points. The two main ones being obviously the delivery times, which you can kind of get around if you have a local supplier. But then the other one which you can't get around is the price of the product. When you're buying one of something at a time, then you can't get your logo put on it. And you're obviously gonna be paying a higher price for it too. So in my opinion, it just makes sense that when you've been drop shipping for a couple of months and you've validated a product as work and you can sell it profitably by drop shipping, then you should always be looking to do what this brand has done in my opinion. So I'll be showing you the product and the store, basically everything behind this business. And then I'll be giving you a little bit of information about how to take those next steps and how to actually progress from drop shipping and turn your store into a quote unquote real brand. So that's the top of the video. Thanks for tuning in guys. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you want to see more of my content. I am trying to do a video every single day and let's jump straight into it. Okay, so here's the store. It's called Sleepathy or Sleepathy, however you want to pronounce it. You've probably seen the product if you've been in the drop shipping space for longer than two minutes. It's quite a popular one. It crops up on a lot of the big um, product research programs or softwares and services I should say. If you haven't seen it before then basically it's a sleep mask which you can connect your phone to and it will play music in your ears whilst you sleep. So pretty cool, pretty neat product. There's obviously a demand for it, which we'll get into in a minute. And what these guys have done is they've sourced it, drop shipped it, validated the idea it actually works. And then as we can see in this image here, they've actually got their logo printed on the front of it. Super cheap, super effective, but obviously a good product that's in demand. One of the main advantages to private labeling your products is that it sets you apart from the competition. So if you put 10 stores in a row, and every store is selling the same sleep mask, but then one out of 10, this store has their logo printed on the product. You're probably gonna buy for the, from those guys, from these guys, because it just looks much more professional. So a little bit of information about this store then, they're using the Impulse Shopify theme. If we take a look at their bestsellers, we can indeed see it's the sleep mask. If I'm not mistaken, they only sell one product. I think they sell this pillow here, but we can see it's pretty far down the list in terms of their bestsellers. This is definitely their main product and source of income. As for the store design itself, it's quite clean, quite neat, nothing too complicated. There's gonna be no custom coding involved in this store. Um, very simplistic and obviously very effective. Just goes to show you can still make money. I believe the impulse theme is free. However, I may be mistaken on that. They have all the necessary and expected information at the top. So track your order. You've probably heard me drill on about these things all the time. You need to track your order page. You need shipping and tracking information. You need contact us information. And then FAQ in my opinion is optional, but these guys have it. So nice big main hero image, obviously an original image featuring the mask with the branding on. Comes across as a lot more professional than just just a generic image. Um, some different versions of the masks. So they've actually gone into having different versions private labeled. They, that looks like a fake box to me. That looks like a mock-up box that anybody could create. So they're probably not branding this pillow. They're probably only branding and investing in stock of the products which they know are selling for a fact. So this will also be the telltale. So if we have a look at the reviews, 422 five-star reviews, which is obviously a bit suspect. But if we have a look at this picture here, that's not the Sleep Hathy logo on there. These two images here, we can see that's not the Sleep Hathy logo either. These are just generic image reviews imported from AliExpress. Let's take a look at the product page then, in my opinion, the most important page for any Shopify store. This is your first impression with your customer. This needs to be really professional. Everything needs to be on point. From what it looks like here and the custom layouts and having information at the top here and the custom A to C button, I'm gonna guess they've got GM pages installed. This all looks like a particular template. Let's check the um, Koala Inspector and see if they have gem pages installed. Shopify applications, we can see here, yeah, they have gem pages installed. So this is a gem pages product page. If you haven't used gem pages before, then I highly recommend at least testing it out on your store. So in this first section of the product page, we can see they've got these nice four different icons highlighting the different benefits of the product and what it can do. They're really upfront and obvious about their shipping and delivery information. Too many people I see try and hide this information because they don't want to put one to two weeks on there, but it's much better to put one to two weeks than nothing at all. At least then the customer knows what to expect. And if you think about any 
any other legitimate e-commerce business that you know about, they always have a delivery timeframe on their website. So if somebody comes onto your store and they can't find out when they're gonna get the item, it's gonna come across as a bit scammy, um, a bit untrustworthy, and they're probably just gonna leave your store and try and find the product elsewhere. Some more product images then, some more image reviews, I should say. I think, I'm not 100% sure, but I think that looks like their logo. Not 100% sure on that. Um, they've got a nice GIF here showing somebody using the product. Um, it's difficult to see, but again, I would bank on that not being theirs either, not having their logo on. This is all a typical kind of layout of gem pages, even this kind of before and after um, GIF. This is something they implement on a lot of their templates, and it's a great way of making your product seem superior to anybody else's because you can have this kind of before and after um, type angle. Moving down then they have this different trio offer which I've seen a few times before. Again another popular feature of the gem pages templates. It's obviously effective because they start to see more and more people use it. This is also the sort of product in which somebody might buy for their partner or a family member to try out as well. Nice big guarantee of 60 days as well. Get fast to sleep or get your money back. Most people go for the typical 30 days by having something over the top and a bit extreme that nobody's seen before. Again it's going to make you look that much more professional by extending in the time as well it shows you have confidence in your own product and again it just makes you look more professional more trustworthy and all these things little things add up into customers feeling safe to shop with you and spend with you so that was the shopify store as we saw very simple um, easy to replicate for any business just to give you some numbers on these guys so you can get a rough idea of how big they are this is their traffic for the last three months this is via a website called similar web which is pretty accurate it's not dot on but it gives us a good enough idea of how successful and how many people are going and using this website so in july just under 20,000, August 47,000, and September 38,000. If we take a look at this screenshot taken from myip.ms then it's a list of the largest websites that use Shopify as a host and we can see here at the bottom at 167 so it's essentially the 167th biggest store using Shopify and it's keeping pretty good company. So this is omaze.com who do the raffles for the million dollar houses. We also have Turtle Beach, which I believe are one of the world's biggest producers of gaming equipment. And we also have Huel.com as well. So they're obviously up there, a very large company and very successful. So I would definitely bank on this being a six figure store, if not even a seven figure store, especially since the day they started. Oh, I've seen these guys before, they've been around for a while, so they must be doing something right to get people onto their store buying their products they are indeed using facebook ads so let's take a look at what style of creative they're going for let's just put this down a little bit so straight away it's user generated content was that the logo did i miss that so they haven't even got the logo on the product in the ad which is interesting to see if it was me i would definitely have the proper ones shipped out to their influencers or actors to do proper videos with that first impression of your customer seeing your ad, if they see the product in the video logoed up, is gonna build that trustworthiness and professionalism with the customer there and then, rather than having to go to your store. I definitely think if they had their logo on there nice and big, um, it would increase their click-through rate. But anyway, it's a user-generated content ad, one of my favorite styles. It's basically where you pay someone, or you get a friend or family member, or even do it yourself, to do exactly what they've just done in this video, to talk about it, unbox it, show how you use it, and then show like how good it is at what it does, basically. The reason why these are so effective is because it all adds and feeds into that whole legitimacy of the business. One of the hardest things you have to overcome as a business advertising on social media platforms is trustworthiness. That'll be the number one thing or the number one kind of barrier or hurdle that you have to knock down to get people to buy from you. So by having real people featured in your ads and having your product logoed up and being upfront and honest about your shipping times and information, all these little things add up and essentially like the ingredients to a professional trustworthy website that people feel comfortable buying from. Let's head back to their website then and take a look at the numbers. So they're selling this product for $40. If we head on to AliExpress, you'll find this super quick. Bluetooth sleep mask, we can see seven pounds, five pounds, 44, 11 pounds. These are different styles, more expensive. Slight, that's a headband. That's pretty much it for £8.50. If we head on to Alibaba, they've got all these different styles. One slightly different thing I would have done that these guys haven't done is instead of actually private labeling the exact same product, I would improve it somewhat differently. 
so that when somebody sees your product, it's unique to all of the other sleep masks out there. So for example, instead of going for this one, so they're probably paying three or $4 um, per unit, depending on the quantity that they're ordering, which shows they're making probably $35 once they've got it delivered and shipped out. 30 plus dollars i would say profit per sale which leaves a lot of room for them to acquire each customer through their ad marketing campaigns if it was me though what i would have done rather than go to this product which is readily available on aliexpress and anybody can knock together a store and start competing with you in less than a day then personally what i would have done was go for a more upmarket expensive product something like this one this is what i'm looking for so it's only slightly more expensive but it's got upgraded bluetooth I think it looks better. It also has memory foam. It's also a 3D mask, which means it sits off your eyes. So it's gonna be more comfortable. And for somebody to find this on AliExpress and compete with you, it's gonna be a lot more difficult to do. So again, it's just kind of building those extra steps or making even more space between you and your competitors, which is gonna make you stand out. And so with that being said, I think that pretty much wraps up everything I wanted to cover. So just as a quick recap, I'm not, don't wanna hate on drop shipping. I love drop shipping. I've been drop shipping for six plus years now, but it's not the be all and end all. The longer you do it, the harder you're gonna find it to be consistent with the same product. You're probably gonna end up having to jump from product to product in order to keep your business alive, unless you take these next steps and progressions on from dropshipping into sourcing your products in bulk quantities and getting your logo printed on it. This is gonna bring down the overall costs of the unit, which increases your profit margins. You're gonna have happier customers because you'll be able to ship it to your customers in one to two days instead of one to two weeks. And in turn, it's gonna to lead to returning customers and your overall brand just being a lot more positive and growing faster and a bit more consistent. The ultimate goal in my mind with any brand is to get to the point where you don't have to pay for marketing anymore. So you can make sales simply through organic traffic. And that's where the magic really happens because then your profit margins are gonna be super, super high. With that being said, thanks for watching guys. If you want more information basically on this because I do this stuff myself as well, um, this is where I essentially house all of my in-house brands. Behind me, there is a warehouse space full of stock. So if you guys wanted more information on this, just let me know in the comments section and then I can put out some more stuff. Thanks again and I'll see you in the next one.